Hi, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. Today we're going to show you how to mount a large painting on rice paper. You can see on the table here a full sheet of uh, painting done by Victoria, my wife, the lotus flower, on a piece of uh, mulberry rice paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is to spray a little clean water. You can use the spray bottle, uh, any kind of, just make a drizzle. Make sure it's even. Don't spread that much, just uh, enough to make the paper soft so the wrinkle will be stretched. Not too, too damp, but if you spread too much, you can wait a little while before you proceed, proceed to the next step. But my recommendation is not to spread that much, but evenly with the mist. You can clean the table with a paper towel. So my paper is a little soft but uh, not uh, wet, so you can still lift it, see. Now I use uh, a padding with uh, four layers of denim cloth and uh, uh, set the iron on 180 Fahrenheit. Uh, actually, there's no number here. I just put more than half between silk and the wall. So it's higher than silk, lower than wall. Okay. I here have a piece of uh, silicone film paper, sil silicone mounting paper with the film side facing up, okay. I have to do this uh, section by section. So you, if you have help or helper, you can uh, have someone hold the painting for you. But this is uh, how I do it with one, one man. So you will, you can use a a roller, kind of a pin, a cardboard pin, if you will. You can hold the painting by roll the picture like this. So you can hold it. This is what I usually do with wet mounting, but uh, just to, okay. So it give you a good handling. If you don't have this, you, you will need an uh, extra hand, a pair of extra hand to stretch it that way. So I lined the uh, painting with the backing paper perfectly. And then I will start from the side, the one side. So I start from the center. Of course, uh, you need to protect the painting with a piece of uh, protective paper. I use a piece of uh, silicone backing paper w without the film. So you can use any piece of paper like a newsprint uh, just for protect the dust, dust or dirt from the iron. So you don't iron directly on the painting but on the protective paper. You can still see the picture through, right? So I start from this uh, margin area move back and forth. Just give enough temperature, that's the idea. So in each area I will do at least one minute before you proceed. Don't do, don't move fast. Go slow. Make sure this section is fixed before you go to the next section. 
Okay, now uh, just checking. You can see, uh, although it looks like uh, the two pieces stick together, but not enough, it's still uh, damp, I can feel, still moisture here. So you need to have this section flat and then pre proceed, to, proceed to the next one. Because the size of the painting, you need to go slower because your iron is too small versus the, the size of the area you're working on. So you need to go slower and then repeat many more times. You can try to set the temperature higher when you get used to it because that will decrease will save your uh, time, but uh, if you're not uh, familiar, you'd better go from lower temperature and then prolong the time of uh, ironing. So you keep moving back and forth, back and forth. So now uh, I set the temperature a little higher because it's winter time. Uh, also, I'm very uh, familiar with the, the procedure, so I just uh, use high temperature and uh, hopefully it will fa work faster. And you can see I moved the iron inside out, inside out, from center out. You can go this direction. Make sure it uh, got stuck together, you see. And you can still feel the moisture with your hand. That means it's not enough. So don't stop. Don't um, move ahead until this section you're working on is completely set. That means dry completely. So it takes quite a bit of time. You can, you can make the temperature higher than small painting, but um, move uh, faster. Don't stop in one area, just keep moving. Also, I think because the winter time, uh, you need to set the temperature higher. At this point, I just try to uh, dry it. So I already have the two layers stick together without wrinkles or folds or waves. So now I just make sure it dries. You don't need to, you don't want to proceed until this part is completely dry. So for a large painting, it takes a long time to, to do, but it's, it's still convenient than wet mounting, which will take at least 24 hours to dry. So this will take probably 20 minutes to work. Now let's turn it over. <laughs> you see uh, here some bubbles like this, and uh, here is flat, right? Which means this part is not enough. And uh, this is how to rescue, I mean to continue. Set the temperature to higher than um, the beginning uh, position. So I now set the temperature to wall. So it's higher. And then iron in circular movement with heavier pressure than uh, what you had before. So you can press. And iron, do not uh, iron uh, steel, but you have to move like this, like you're polishing the floor, you know. Just make sure the temperature is high enough. So you you change the temperature to higher and then apply pressure to make the wrinkle off. Because the 
Uh, this, this was due to the fact that uh, the painting stretch uh, from wet to dry. So you create this kind of uh, uh, waves. Then if it's completely dry, it should be fine. You see, this part is fixed. So this area ne needs some more. Now I proceed to the second section. It probably will take me four sections to finish. Kind of make it flat, then um, to set it. So the first um, set of the strokes, uh, you need to to be more careful. Then you just uh, kind of uh, set it. Make sure they stick together. Now I'm working on the last section. Let's review the procedure. First of all, you stroke from the center, like a, drive the air towards the uh, unfinished part. Then from the center to the margin on both directions, up and down. Up, down, up, down, kind of middle, up, down, middle, up, down. You can see this part has uh, just finished. This part we just start. You can still see the bubbles, the waves, not the bubbles. So you just keep working from uh, center out. In the beginning, uh, you apply less temp uh, pressure. Then after the two uh, flattened, the painting is flattened, you can, you can press and set. OK, now the last section. Now let's uh, turn the picture over. And you can see there are still some uh, uh, waves, I would call. But don't worry, we can eye on the wrong side now. 
Uh, you don't need this protective paper anymore. You just iron on the back of the paper, on, on the release paper, face the, with the painting facing down. Now we have finished the ironing, and you can see uh, the backing paper is now sticked firmly to the painting. And you can just uh, leave it there as backing paper without uh, uh, releasing it. And uh, just put it on the, uh, tape it on the backing board uh, and then frame. So it's uh, completed. If you have uh, questions, please uh, write to me and I'll try to answer. Uh, if you want to get the silicone release paper, you can go to www.blueheronarts.com. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.